Heads up, guys. Welcome to another episode of Retooling the Detroit Tigers. Today, I am going to be looking to get better starting pitchers. Now, you guys are probably looking at these guys like Michael Fulmer, Justin Verlander. Wow, they're really good. Well, they are. Now, Daniel Norris isn't really going to be cutting it. Ruby De La Rosa, let's see how he does. I want to keep him because he's... What? Oh, wait, hold up. Okay. I want to keep him. He's very good. I probably am going to be trading Justin Verlander this episode, though. Let's sim a few games. Let's see what we can do. Justin Verlander pitched a good seven innings with a 1.29 ERA. Hopefully, that will get people wanting him, like, like really wanting him. I don't know. I don't even think that it's going to matter. We could get Chris Archer. We could. I feel like that'd be a little biased, but we could definitely get Chris Archer. I'm going to be going with Chris Archer. 28, three years left on his contract for $5 million. Seems like a pretty good deal. Here's the final deal. We're getting rid of Bruce Rondon. He's, he really never does good. Like, I don't understand, but in this game, I guess he gets so screwed over to the point where just he never does good. It's sad, but it's whatever. Chris Archer, welcome to the Tigers. Let's see how that plays out. Hopefully, it's good. I mean, I think it will be fine. But um, only time will tell. Only time will tell. The 2017 first year player draft is now upon us. Since we hired those fantastic new scouts, I'm expecting top notch players. So there's already one with pretty we already got pretty good accuracy on him. I'm going with him. I feel like in this game if you pay the money for those scouts, you should be rewarded. And hopefully we will be rewarded. A catcher, I'll go with it. The rest I'll just leave up to them. The Cubs are offering us something. Really, yeah, there's really nothing. Okay. Let's take a look at these. Let's take a look at these players real quick. So close to an A, but still very, very good. These two are these two are very good. We're drafting a catcher with a little bit of speed. Hopefully that speed goes up. I think I really want Vince Velasquez. This dude, for the past two years I've seen him, has been dominating the MLB. And for Ruby De La Rosa, one... I mean, he's the one prospect that we are giving up. I mean, he's decent. He's very good. 21, B potential, 71, but we got two prospects that are already ready to do something so giving up one for a very good pitcher is not that bad so Vince Velasquez welcome to the Tigers all right boys listen up listen up listen up I've already missed out on the Ian Kinsler deals. He's already 77 overall. He's losing a lot. And I mean a lot of 
attributes. Just look at that. It's all negatives across the board. So I'm thinking we're going to be trading him to the Braves for a very good amount of prospects. We got three prospects coming in. And a second baseman prospect that's looking like the future. I can already see it now. So that's what we're going to be doing. Like I said in the first episode, if you guys have not seen the first episode, be sure to watch that or you guys are going to be super confused on why I'm doing all this kind of stuff. I hate to say it, but Miggy, you're the next one to go. You're the next one to go if you don't perform. As long as he performs, I'll keep him until he's 40. But if he starts underperforming, starts going down in the overall attributes, then that's when I might have to pull some. The reason why I think that we're going to have a lot of money this offseason is because we have sponsorship deals that... We get about fifty to seventy-five thousand dollars every single win. We have one like that. We have no. We have one that's about thirty thousand dollars every single win, and then we have two that's combined sixty thousand dollars per game. So if we, like these two New York Yankee games, we made over a hundred thousand dollars on both of those games. That's crazy. That's why I think we're going to have a boatload of money. Now, if I'm wrong, then I'm going to be mad because the owners or whatever are taking that money from themselves. Because there would be no way, no way, that we have less than at least $80 million per player budget. There's no way. There's no way we have less than that. Jose Iglesias did good. I don't expect many home runs from this dude, as you can see by his stats. But I expect him to get on base a lot, and that's what he did. Justin Upton, 38 home runs. Very good. 34 home runs for Miguel Cabrera. 36 home runs for Oswaldo Arcia. I told you guys. I'm telling you. Get Oswaldo Arcia. Get him. Put him in the MLB. He'll blossom. And if he doesn't, not my fault. Don't don't come yelling at me. 34 home runs for J.D. Martinez. 41 home runs for Nick Castellanos. Wow. Chris Archer leading the squad. 14 wins. Jordan Zimmerman did not do good this season. Michael Fulmer, 17-9 with a 3.14 ERA. Very good from him. Vince Velasquez... Finish off the season very good as well. All right, here we go. Let's get into the free agent market. Let's see how much money we got. Oh, God. We ended up losing a lot of, well, just people. I mean, a lot of them were from ability, which... To me, is not that big of a loss because we that's like an indication we'd never use them. So, not mad about that. I'm not mad about that. $74 million. Wow, I am very surprised. I'm honestly very surprised that we do not have more than $80 million in the bank. I'm a little mad about that. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little mad about that. In my mind, we should have a lot more money for players. If Nick Castellanos wants $9.8 million and can hit 41 home runs almost every year, I will pay that man whatever he wants. I got to save up a bit, though. I got to save up to get... A second baseman 
and a center fielder because I'm not really going to be signing back Anthony Ghost. Because I do want Oswaldo Arcia to be playing center field. I think that would be the best for him. I do not want Oswaldo Arcia playing center field. I think I'd rather have him in the DH spot. I feel like that's better for him, so that's what we're going to be doing. And um, from the way it's looking right now, we got to we got to like really get our money together. All right, every everybody that I want to sign back. I've offered a contract to. Now let's take a look and see. All right, we got about approximately. What the heck is that depth on second baseman? What? We're not going to be able to pay Jose Altuve. I'm thinking UNL Escobar for one year, about $4 million. That seems about fair. But wow, I wasn't expecting that at all. If we can, I'm going to try and get Lorenzo Cain. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. We got Yunel Escobar, so he's going to be playing second base for us. And we got Lorenzo Cain. He's going to be playing center field for us. All right, we got good offensive guys from that. We got good offensive guys from that. All right. I feel like we're coming out of the off season pretty good. I feel like we're all right. I'm wow. I really have like no words. I'm very surprised with our outcome. And I'm very happy about it too. I mean, with the amount of money that we had to work with, that's that's pretty good. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I really do hope you all enjoyed. If you could, please leave a like and subscribe if you have not already. Be sure to click the middle, the left, and the right to navigate throughout the channel and subscribe. And with that being said, I will see you guys later.